Beachy Head is a beautiful place with a tragic history. I live in London, so I love the countryside. I was brought up in the countryside. Fresh air, seaside. It's probably the nearest coastline directly as the crow flies on my house. Beachy Head is in southern England, close to the town of Eastbourne in East Sussex. We came to Eastbourne for the weekend and I haven't been to Beachy Head since I was a child, so we're back here just to see how I remember it and it's exactly the same and always cold. Surprisingly, you do hear of people say I've lived in the area and not really been up here very much. It's that adage that if you live somewhere, you don't necessarily visit it and uh, take it all in. But I think when you're retired, you've got time to appreciate it a bit more. It's a well-known attraction yeah, and we wanted nice to show them. Spot. Yeah, beauty spot. Standing 535 feet, Beachy Head is the most popular tourist attraction on the southern coast of England. It's lovely here because the scenery is so stunning, but it's very, very peaceful. Um, the times you come up here and there's hardly a soul. Today it's really busy because it's uh, very sunny. I was saying to you guys on the way up, it's a really nice thinking place. I used to yeah, not just yeah. listen to the Walkman in those days. <laughs> <laughs> Cassette, Walkman. <laughs> and, uh, and just sit and think, you know, and, or cycle up. and It's very peaceful. Well, I had two close friends staying with me, so I wanted to walk right over the cliff tops all along Beachy Head, show them just the just the big beauty of the, of the the site and the um, the sea and just the beautiful area it was. One of my friends was extremely tired, and. She said, look, do you mind if I just take a seat here and you two go and walk around the coast? We sat on the seat beside her, beside her and um, we said we had a super walk and we were describing the views to her. Well, she said, I've had a most interesting time when you were away. We've heard about all the people that have committed suicides over the edge and tragically succeeded. She said, I was just sitting quietly here, just looking out at the peaceful sea, and this man came over. And in a very gentle voice, he said to me, are you all right? And she said, oh yes, of course I am. I, I just couldn't understand why he asked this question. And she, she said, why are you asking me that? And he said, this is an area where a number of people come to commit suicide. We saw a sign just as you leave Brighton, there's a sign on the right hand side of the road, isn't there? It says you're not alone and Samaritans. And I know there used to be, I don't know if it still is, but I know up where there really is the, the edge of the cliff, there used to be signs and things like that. Um, two years ago, the head of student services at University of Brighton approached me and asked me would I consider doing um, a two day intensive course um, on suicide intervention. I'm very glad now that, that I feel I have some skills and that I would not be afraid, you know, to approach someone rather than turn away with, and have regrets afterwards. It's just, you know, so it's just knowing how to intervene.